Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on monetary policy. So firstly, what is monetary policy? Well, monetary policy is defined as the manipulation of monetary variables. And what that means is the control of the supply of money, to put it in normal English speaking terms. So monetary policy is the control of the supply of money. And this is done using interest rates. And I'll give an example here. So if we have a high interest rate, remember our interest rate is the cost of borrowing and the reward from saving. So if we have a high interest rate, then there is a high cost of borrowing and high reward of saving. So therefore people aren't going to borrow as much, but any money they had before, they're more likely to save. So our APC will decrease and our APS will rise because people aren't borrowing that money to spend, but they are saving that money. So therefore the supply of money has decreased because all of it's being saved in banks or a lot of it's being saved in banks. And it works the opposite way around if interest rates are low. So there is a low cost of borrowing and a low reward from saving. So this time people are more likely to borrow money than to save it. So therefore there is an increase in the supply of money. People have more money. So what are our aims and types of monetary policy? Well, the first thing you need to know is that the sole and only aim of monetary policy is to control the inflation rate. It doesn't have anything else to do with controlling employment, to do with encouraging economic growth, any of those things. Its main aim is to control the inflation rate. And our two types of monetary policy, if we're controlling the supply of money with interest rates, well, our two types of monetary policy will be one with a high interest rate and one with a low interest rate. So our type of monetary policy with a high interest rate is called tight monetary policy. So you're being tight with your, your money. You're charging more people to borrow it. Cost of borrowing is high. And loose monetary policy is when our interest rate is low. So you're being more free with your money. You're allowing more people to borrow it because there's a lower cost of borrowing. And monetary policy is run by the central bank or the Bank of England. And as I said, they control the interest rate. And this is to avoid political influence. So, for example, if there was an election coming up, one of the political parties, if they had control of monetary policy, might say, if you vote us in for the next four years, we'll keep interest rates really low at 0.5%. Now, that might be the best thing to do politically so that they can get all the votes and get into power. But in terms of the economy, that might be incredibly harmful. So therefore, monetary policy is controlled by the Bank of England to prevent that political influence. And finally, we need to understand how monetary policy affects aggregate demand. So let's use the scenario of a loose monetary policy, so a low interest rate. So if our interest rate is low, then there is a low cost of borrowing. So therefore, this encourages people to borrow more. So if there's only an interest rate of 1% interest per month that's not much therefore I'm more likely to borrow so therefore loose monetary policy low interest rate therefore there's a lower cost of borrowing and therefore more borrowing will occur more people will borrow and this means that people have more money to spend and not just people not just individuals and households but also businesses as well they will also borrow money so therefore as consumers and businesses have more money they're more likely to spend and invest this money so therefore in terms of aggregate demand, consumption will rise and investment will rise. So therefore, aggregate demand will go up. And this is all due to a loose monetary policy or a low interest rate. But now let's say we have the scenario of a tight monetary policy. So we have a high interest rate. So if there's a high interest rate, then the cost of borrowing is higher. So say, for example, uh, the interest rate is 4%. I need to pay 4% interest on that every month. That's quite a lot. So therefore, because there's a higher cost of borrowing due to this tight monetary policy, less people will borrow. And that means less households and individuals and businesses have less money. So therefore, they don't have as much money to spend, so consume goods with, and to invest. So therefore, consumption and investment will fall. So therefore, aggregate demand will fall. And one final thing to note is if you remember, interest rates are the cost of borrowing as well as the reward from saving. So if we have a loose monetary policy, a low interest rate, the reward from saving is low. So therefore, people are less likely to save their money in banks and more likely to spend it. So if there's a loose monetary policy, then it's more likely that consumption will rise because people aren't saving money in banks because there is a low reward from saving.
so therefore aggregate demand will rise too. And if we have a tight monetary policy, so a high interest rate, there is a higher reward from saving, so therefore people are more likely to save money in the bank because they get more interest from it, they get more reward, more money on top of it. So therefore they have less money to spend, therefore consumption will drop, therefore aggregate demand will drop too.